I think it's very obvious at this point that one of the most highly coveted events in Dokkan Battle has got to be the EZAs, the Extremes, the Awakenings, the process of making an old unit new by giving them enhanced abilities and making them so much more relevant. A lot of you guys have been asking me recently, Toon, when are the EZAs coming to Dokkan Global? Because we do know that we have several EZAs on the way because of the seven year anniversary that took place on JP in part two. We had a few in part three. We had a few and in part four, the extra part, we also had a few. So in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly when and where we could be seeing these EZAs taking place with some possible room for change. So we'll talk about that in just a second. Let me switch over here to my trusty little guide that I made. Here is what I have created for you guys as far as when the EZAs are going to be dropping in reference to today. As of me posting this video, I have framed this in reference to today. So looking at the seven year schedule approximately, I do want to mention this is approximate because there's always a chance that they could change things up because in the past they have changed the dates when you think it's supposed to be a 12 day interval. Sometimes they change it to 11. So there could be little alterations that take place. So these numbers are not final. These are just based on how things have played out for JP during the seven year anniversary. So keep that in mind. So starting with the ones that are dropping in part two, God, Goku and Vegeta start date. This is going to be dropping July 18th at 7 p.m. PDT. If you don't live in my same time zone, because yes, there are other parts of the world, it is dropping six days from today. That's right, six days as of me posting this video. Depending on when you're watching this, just simply add a couple of days depending on when you're watching this in reference to when it was actually uploaded. This was uploaded on the 12th of July. So six days from today, God, Goku, and Vegeta will be releasing. Little info on them. You have the weakness Pure Saiyans, and they gain 80% damage reduction against tech. I'll be doing a more in-depth breakdown of the actual EZA event in a couple of days. But just a quick little thing to let you guys know, start prepping your pure Saiyans teams and don't bring tech units on your actual team if you're trying to do more damage because they are resistant. The final forms of them are STR and tech. So, you know, dress accordingly. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron have the same exact start date. It is at 7 p.m. PDT July 18th. Effectively, this is two hours after that day's reset. So this is actually not going to be dropping on that very minute that the new day starts, the new reset starts. It's two hours after that. But again, it is six days from today. For the weakness, Shadow Dragon Saga, obviously. And then for the damage reduction, 80% damage reduction gained against AGL. Final forms are going to be physical and tech. So AGL probably isn't advised anyway since you're fighting a tech unit. So yeah, dress accordingly. Moving on now, we've got part three because part three has a few more EZAs as well. We've got several EZAs happening during part three. The LR Gogeta and the LR Vegeta will both be happening on July 30th at 7 p.m. PDT. Again, two hours after reset. This is 18 days from now because this is going to be dropping 12 days after part two begins. Part two begins in six days. 12 days after that, it will start part three. Now, one key difference is that last year during part three, I believe it started a day earlier. So this is one of those moments where things could potentially change, but you still get a rough estimate. 18 days from today basically means a little over two weeks, about two and a half weeks. So you can sort of mentally prepare for that fact. The weakness for this event is going to be the legendary power link since this is an LR EZA event and the fused fighter category will give you enhanced damage reduction against incoming attacks. Same goes for the Vegito start time and date exactly the same July 30th, two hours after reset. 18 days from today as of me posting this video legendary power link and final trump card category are the key factors you need to take on that event but that's not all for part three we have one more thing that's gonna <laughs> one more thing let me know in the comments you know what if you guys understand that reference subscribe to the channel right now there's your subscriber challenge for today if you understand one more thing then uh, you got to join because i want you part of the team all right so Tech LR Gohan Goten Trunks, AGL Goku Chi Chi, and Physical Vegeta Bulma. All of these free to play units will be receiving their EZAs via an easy area, which will be dropping at reset on July 30th. So, this is technically going to be dropping two hours earlier than the LR EZAs. So, you can get this done first. And that is also 18 days from today. All three of these will be happening on that same day. So, by then, during part two, you would have already finished the LR grind, the TUR grind, and you would have those SA5 copies ready to go for those various units if you are dokkaning responsibly moving on now to the final part the ex part this is the part that's happening after the main bulk of the seven year anniversary concludes now for this fun fact the date gets extended for the seventh anniversary login bonus because originally for jp their login bonus goes from the 29th of january until the 3rd of march 
And then if you notice on the EX part, it changes and it goes from the 1st of March till the 8th of March. So they extend it by about five days. So keeping that in mind, looking at the release date for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku Vegeta EZA, it's going to be August 6th at 7 p.m. PDT. August 6th is actually two days before the original end of the seven year anniversary on Global. On Global, the end date for the seven year anniversary is August 8th. So you would technically have two days left until the anniversary starts and concludes for this event, which is ridiculous. So what they're going to be doing is they're going to be extending that by five days. And this is actually going to be August 13th. That ends up being the final day of the seven year anniversary, which will then give you a full seven days to take on this event. So the August 6th until the 13th, you will be taking on this LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta event. They are both combined into one. This is a Destined Rivals continuation, and this is going to be happening 25 days from today. 25 days from today, weakness is going to be Legendary Power Link and Beyond Super Saiyan. And then after that, it's anyone's guess what's going to happen. Now, I do have one thing that I would like to say regarding this. The EX part for the global side of the game is going to be a very interesting one because this is going to be the section most likely that they're going to be implementing a brand new event. The thing that they talked about during the producer's letter video, because this event has already been cleared by global Dokoners before the sand, or actually during the sand day celebration, the joint celebration with JP, there is a giant gaping hole here in this part of the celebration, which means during this boosted recovery or a boosted, whatever this is, the, the stamina boost thing that they're doing, they're adding it to five instead of three. During this and the Super Saiyan 4 EZAs, they're probably going to be releasing the new event. Now, whatever that ends up being, it could be more than just one little event. It could be a lot more profound than that. So what I could potentially see happening is they could maybe, in theory, move the Super Saiyan 4s to earlier. Maybe they move these back into part three, and then part four could be entirely devoted to whatever this is going to be. So that's pretty much all that I have to say on the incoming EZAs. Like I said, these are the potential dates. They could be subject to change by a couple of days, depending on how Global likes to play things out if something happens. But for the most part, and after 25 days, you will have all of these EZAs available, but you should be getting them done incrementally as they happen because it's going to be a lot of stuff to do if you do it all at once. But the good news is 30 plus stones, 30 plus stones, 30 plus stones, 30 plus stones, I think like six stones or something like that, and another 30 plus stones. So a lot of stones to be gained from all of these EZAs. Get them done. Hopefully you have all of these copies. If you don't, you're missing out on some pretty stacked EZAs. You're missing out, I'm telling you. Hopefully you guys have it. That's it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, yeah, you know what? Last one more, one more thing, 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 one more thing. The banner for the part two EZAs are also going to be dropping at the same time, two hours earlier. So actually, the part two banner is going to be dropping two hours before the actual EZA. So if you do decide to summon, which I don't advise, but if you do want to get possibly these four units, you can do so on July 18th at reset, which is again, two hours before their release, six days from today. Now, there you have it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below and let me know in the comments, which of all of the EZAs are you the most excited for? And which of all of the EZAs are you the least excited for? For me, I am most excited for Tech Godku and I am least excited for Physical Omega Shenron. Let me know what your favorite and least favorite EZAs are in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content of the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.